Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And today we're going to look at the question, can I power under cabinet lights from the countertop receptacles or the countertop receptacle circuit? And this is very tempting, isn't it? Whether you're doing new construction or you're doing rework and you're trying to update your kitchen that you live in currently, it's very tempting to want to pop into one of these receptacles right here and add a switch next to it, do a two gang box and add a switch, and then put your switch leg up to the cabinets and voila, you can power power your under cabinet lights. It seems like a very easy fix, but we're going to find out today, is it code compliant? Are you allowed to do it? And what are some of the things that you are allowed to do? I am the electrical code coach. Let's get to it. Let's be honest. There is nothing like under cabinet lights to absolutely set off a kitchen. There is nothing in the electrical industry that gives you that oh moment than the first time that you flip on some under cabinet lights, especially if it's in a really dark kitchen, it can really bring it back to life. But we're asking the question today, where can I get that power from? Can I pop off the countertop receptacle? And the answer is no. And let's lead us down that code road very quickly. And then I'll tell you the few places that you can tap off to make this a pretty easy install. So. The first time that we hear about the small appliance receptacle circuits is in 210.11c1. It requires flat out that you have a minimum of two small appliance circuits, and it leads us over to 210.52b, which we're going to talk about in just a few moments, of the places that you are allowed to run these receptacle circuits. With that being said, before we leave this part of the code, I want to talk about 210.11c2, 3, and 4, which is the requirements for laundry room, bathroom, and garage circuits. Now, with very few exceptions, you are not allowed to tap into these circuits really for any reason. We're not going to jump into those all, all those exceptions today. You can read them and check them out, and I've covered most of them in all my other videos. Today we're talking about the kitchen and how to power these under cabinet lights, but with very few exceptions, can you use the two small appliance circuits, the laundry room circuit, the bathroom circuit, or the garage circuit to run anything else in the home? Now let's head over to 210.52b, which is going to list the places that you are allowed to use these two small appliance receptacle circuits, one of them being countertops, another example is dining rooms, pantries, etc. And this is for receptacles only. And that's the part of the code that expressly prohibits us uh, you know, from being allowed to tap in and do these under cabinet lights. Yes, it's a very low amperage appliance, but these circuits are just not designed for that, and the code actually prohibits it. Now let's talk about some places that you are allowed to tap off of that are most likely right there in the kitchen and that you can easily access in order to power your under cabinet lights. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Before I get started, I've got to remind you not to repeat anything in these videos, but just to use them for educational purposes only. I'm going to talk about a lot of different parts of the code right here, and that's why we call it the NEC, the National Exception Code, because it's true under one circumstance, and then the code says it's not okay under another circumstance. Or the code says flat out, you're not allowed to do this, except... That's why we call it the National Exception Code. So make sure you work with a local electrical inspector on this one or a qualified licensed electrician to make sure that you get this one right. But let's talk about some places that you can tap off to run your under cabinet lights. I'm going to talk about the best ones first, and then we'll branch off into some more complicated ones. But as long as you hit these parameters, it is code compliant. All right, so an excellent example would be right here at this switch. So let's imagine that this switch controls this overhead light right here. This would be a great place to tap in and get your under cabinet lighting circuit. So we pop in right here, maybe cut in a two gang box, run our switch leg up, and voila, we're able to power our under cabinet lights. Now let's talk about another really good example. This picture of this vent hood isn't really a great example of one that you might be able to tap into, although you probably could if you pulled this off the wall. There's likely a receptacle back here, and you could tap into that circuit, bring it down, put a switch, and then do your under cabinet lights. But a lot of these vent hoods are placed with a cabinet above them, and then inside that upper cabinet is a cord and plug connection for the vent hood. If that's the case, that's an excellent place to get your power for your under cabinet lights. So let's imagine you have a vent hood above your stove. Up above that is a set of double cupboards. You pull those cupboards open. There's a receptacle inside there that the vent hood is plugging into. As long as that's not running off the kitchen appliance circuits or any of the, of, the, of the other circuits that we just learned that you're not allowed to tap off of, that would be a great place to get your power.
Same thing in this picture on the right hand side. It looks like behind this paper towel roll there's a switch for this light above the sink. A great place to get power would be right there. You jump up and you do your under cabinet lights right there. Now let's imagine in this picture on the right hand side that just at the end of this countertop starts the living room. Let's, let's imagine for just a minute that the living room starts and down low is a living room receptacle just on the other side of this cabinet. That'd be a great place to get power. Pop into this cabinet maybe and then come up into the wall or go up into the upper cabinet and then you'd be able to power your under cabinet lights from there. Also, things to consider is that if you have a crawl space below, you could tap off of any of the general lighting circuits. Also, if you have an attic above, you might be able to tap off any of your general lighting circuits. Now let's talk about some more ones that are a little more complex in the code, but as long as you follow the parameters, you can do it legally and it's no problem. Let's imagine that you have a garbage disposal here. And that garbage disposal, the manufacturer's instructions, does not require a dedicated circuit. And we're going to say for scenario one that the garbage disposal does not have anything else on it. And that garbage disposal is 10 amps or less. Then you would legally be allowed to tap into it to run those under cabinet lights. Remember, as long as the manufacturer's instructions doesn't require a dedicated circuit, as long as it's not running any other major appliance like a dishwasher, which we're getting ready to talk about in just a second. And as long as that total load of all those things did not exceed its uh, circuit rating, which is, you know, 20 amps or 15 amps respectively, and that appliance was 10 amps or less, you would be allowed to tap in it to run your under cabinet lights. Same thing with this dishwasher on the left hand picture. As long as that dishwasher did not require a dedicated circuit by the manufacturer's instructions, as long as it was not paired with another appliance that took it over its ampere rating for the circuit, whether 15 amp circuit or 20 amp circuit, and as long as this appliance was not 10 amps, or excuse me, greater than 10 amps, it can be 10 amps or less, then you could legally tap into that circuit and then run your under cabinet lights off of it. So these are some ones that you have to really know what's going on in the code. That's why I highly recommend that you work with your electrical inspector. But they are some possibilities for you to be able to tap off and run your under cabinet lights. So just to recap, you can run off of any general lighting circuit. You can run off of any other dedicated appliance circuit as long as it's 10 amps or less and it's not in conjunction with other things that are you know going to push the amperage limit but and i'll give a real good example really quick that it, a lot of times we'll run the garbage disposal and the dishwasher off of the same circuit as long as they are both 10 amps or less then you are allowed to do it it's not a problem but if you go to add more circuits to that or excuse me if you go to add more loads to that circuit you might be pushing yourself up over the just the general amp rating of your circuit whether it's 15 or 20. but with that being said to recap if you you can tap off of any general lighting circuit you can tap off of excuse me any general receptacle circuit that is not servicing the two countertops the two countertop circuits the laundry room circuit the bathroom circuit or the garage circuit and you're also allowed to tap off of any appliance as long as you follow the 50 percent rule so i am the electrical code coach and hopefully this brought a little bit of clarity today i know there's a lot going on here but that's the code there's just a lot going on but what we do is we get together every day and we're trying to shrink the code i am the electrical code coach and if there's anything i can do to help you in life or business you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.